Hey, what is going on, everybody? You are back with the Real PG for another NBA player prop video for today, Thursday, January the 19th. Before we get into today's video, if I could please ask you to smash that like button for if you're enjoying this content, if you were part of yesterday's huge wins. Congratulations. If you've not gotten to be a part of this channel yet, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for more up-to-date information on player injuries, player line movements, and anything else in regards to today's slate. Last but not least, real quickly, in the description section below, you will find three very important links. The first one is to the free Discord. The free Discord is the heart and soul of the Real PG community. It is an extension of the YouTube. Here you will get my updated research, updated information throughout the day. It's about a thousand plus people talking NBA, NFL, NHL, Thrive, Prize Picks, you name it. 24 hours a day around the clock. Tons of great info to be had here, you guys. Come check it out. Out. Second link is for those who want to go above and beyond and want more than what is available for free and want to get into the deepest areas of my community, if you will. Um, so this is the Patreon. Uh, there's two tiers, VIP All Access as well as the base tier. So the base tier is what it gets you is your first looks as well as a lineup. The first looks are very plain and simple, just some plays I like. And then when you get to the final, it gives you the final plays as well as descriptions of why I am taking each and every play. Yesterday we did sweep. It was uh, quite the day yesterday. Unfortunately, Sabonis sat, but it is what it is. It was still a huge, huge day. So that is the Patreon. If you're curious about how we've been doing as a whole or if you're curious about how I operate it and what people think about it, come check out the testimonial section. You will see all sorts of comments from other people, slips from, you know, the past few months, all the wins. These are all tailwinds. All the wins from just other people are in the big hits section. This is specific to the Patreon and testimonials, guys. So if you're curious about how we've been doing, come check it out. You know, I am very open book. You know, I got withdrawals. I've got my lineups. I got everything. You know, it shows shows and verifies that there's legitimacy here and it's not another patreon that is gonna steer you wrong so come check it out definitely worth taking a look at last link is going to be to thrive fantasy my partner and my favorite site too bad i had to build my bankroll specifically for a number of reasons best payouts in the industry not all the props in your faces distractions like a lot of other sites have forcing you with less props to make the best decisions on these props and that ultimately leads you into smaller lineups like two and three mans which means less risk at higher payouts great for building your bankroll so if you come over to thrive and you sign up as a new user with my promo code capital letters pg you deposit twenty dollars minimum you can deposit as much as you would like and they will match 100 percent up to 100 dollars once you get that money on there you just need to make a bet of one dollar or more and after that you come into the discord send me a dm let me know hey brother i've taken care of the thrive requirements i will get you approved get it verified with thrive that you did do all those things and when you do i will send you ten dollars back out of my pocket as a thank you for coming and checking out thrive so inevitably if you put twenty dollars on you'll get that money doubled to 40 you'll get 10 cent back to you so you're getting 40 dollars for the price of 10. not only that i'm going to give you my vip all access patreon plays for the day that you are approved as well so if you choose to spend that free money on the patreon plays you certainly can it also gives you insight and a look into what the patreon is and if it's something that might be for you Last but not least, if you do sign up prior to this Sunday, you will be a part of the raffle as well. The raffle will be one person winner, and it's going to be for a jersey of your choice. Uh, so yeah, limit. There's no limit on who or what. You know, any main sport, any player. Um, when you win, if you do win, you basically give them three options. When you go one, two, three, and they're going to get you the one they can. Um, so a lot of people go for the throwback stuff, you know, players from the 70s, and they make it happen. So, um, yeah, guys, definitely tons of perks to 
check the click the link and come over here and check out a site that's better than anywhere else i've used so i mean if you trust any of the content i'm giving and you trust anything i'm saying give thrive a try you guys come on over sign up help support the channel help me be able to continue to bring free content to you guys every day the sign ups and all that go a long long way with that so that being said, guys, let's get into the picks. It's early. We're pre-noon again today. I hate having to do this, but to get the videos out early enough, you got to do it. So the research is very first look again today, but I do have a couple plays that have been pretty uh, standout for me. So let's take a look at those plays. And the first one, uh, we're going to be limited to what we play here. It's going to be a Nikola Vucevic play. Let me just see what we're limited to. We are limited to either straight rebounds or straight points. And unfortunately, I wanted the points or PA. I wanted the PR. Um, so let's take a look at what the best option is. All right, so let's dig in. So we've got Nikola Vucevic, assist line, major juice, minus 2.5, uh, 2 minus 187 to the overs. So they're counting them for three assists at least. Points. Even money, minus 112 to the over, minus 118 to the under at 18 and a half. And the rebounds at 11.5, minus 139 to the over, plus 105 to the under. Some solid juice on the boards as well. So st based on the Vegas lines, is what this is telling you is rebounds would be the play. But I personally do think that points might be a better look. Um, let's dig into this and let's see. So Vooch versus Detroit in the past. Let's look at his point totals. 19, 21, 22 over the last three. Two of those games were, one of those games was this year, most recent game, 19 points, nine rebounds, two assists. But then we have 19, 21, 22, 15, 15, 29, 20, 37, 19, and then we're back into 2018, so it doesn't really matter. The rebounds, though, the last three have been a little scary, nine, six, and eight. Outside of that, though, 19, 15, 16, 9, 12, 11, 12, 13, 11. So, I mean, I'd say I'd, like, I'd love to be able to say it was an off game, but this is three games in a row, the last three games, too, unfortunately. So that's a little scary. So let's dig into what he has been doing on the road where they're playing today. So if we look at Vooch, And we go to, let's look at his rebounds first. And we are going to go, this is away. So this is his away game log. So the most recent game, he only had 10 on 111 versus Washington. Prior to that, four straight. If we look at the all game log, which is home and away games, you will see that he has hit this in eight, seven of the last 10, six of the seven of the last nine really um and the ones he missed was by a hook and by one and a hook so there's good consistency if nothing else he's been over a lot of the time and if we look at the matchup for the center versus detroit they are giving up number two points number two rebounds so points and rebounds looks to be the way. But now let's look at Vooch's points on the road. All right. So remember, DeRozan is back. DeRozan will be coming back today. That might limit his shot upside, but DeRozan was involved in every single one of these games. I did look into it. Every single one of the games in 22 and 20, 21, Vooch, or DeRozan was a part of where he scored 19, 21, 22, 15, and 15. If we look today, oof, his line is 18.5. So we're looking for 19 points. What he did just hit most recently. Sorry, guys, trying to find the correct tab here. I got so many of them. So, yeah, if we look, he's also been very, very consistent in the scoring column with two 15s. Uh, outside of that, he's been hitting so like i said ideally i would be on the p plus r play even though it looks just like the rebounds do at the end of the day as far as hit rate but i'm not really too sure which way i think is better here and i'm going to want to dig a little bit deeper like we said they have a top two he has a top two matchup in both these areas 
So, and given the statistics of his past, points seem to be pretty consistent in the last three where rebounds have not been there. So I think I'm going to personally either end up skipping this play altogether or just making a small bet on both, maybe? So we'll put both these in. You guys can make your decision. Otherwise, you can just opt not to bet it on here and to take over on prize picks the points plus rebounds, which they have at 30.5, which we lose a half point of value, but that is okay. Um, all right, so let's keep digging. Again, we are limited to full game stuff only here. Um, I would love to say something about Jason Tatum, but until we have the news on Jalen Brown, for sure, I cannot. But I do advocate for his points as well as his rebounds if JB is out. I also do like Steph Curry's points today versus Boston. Let's take a look at those. This is one I was not planning on giving, so I'm not prepared for this one, sorry. But I did just see it, and I want to give it to you. So, Steph... Let's see what his Vegas line looks like. This will be a first for me, too. Minus 108. Okay, so there is not much juice there. Um, let's see where he is juiced. The rebounds, big time. And that's about it. But let's dig into the past. All right, this I have seen. So Steph Curry, game log versus Boston. All right. 32 points, 14 minutes, I don't know what happened here, doesn't matter, he only played 14 minutes, doesn't count. So 32, 30, 47, 38, 23, 24, 49, and now we're back in 2017. So he has had, really, in the last five, he had one game where he went under, and it was because he played 14 minutes. He was either hurt or something like that. I don't really know what happened. Don't really care what happened. He took four shots in that amount of time, so there's obviously you can't even look at that game with anything. And here's another thing to note. He has put up 32, 30, 47, and 38 points, all shooting under 60%. 57%, 38%, 55%, 57%. Fifty percent, forty-six percent, all of his games until the fifty-point game, forty-nine. He shot sixty-six percent. So if we can get Steph shooting over fifty percent tonight, I don't see why he could not make this happen. But again, his first look. I have not dug into this. We can quickly look and just see. What I know Curry's been a lot worse on the road, as are all the Warriors. But um, we can take a look quick and just see. All right, so this is Steph on the road. Nothing overly appealing here. I mean, the rebounds had juice. Let's just look at those. Oh, okay. I do like that. That looks very nice. Very, very nice. So, all right, let's hop back on to Thrive and get to the last pick I was going to give you, which is also still a little bit in the air, but um, we're going to be taking... Oh, they took it off. Man, all right, well, I was on Embiid points. Let's take a look at his game log, though, and see if we can make PRA or PR work as well. Um, so, game log versus Portland. And we will talk about him as well as Harden when we get over to prize picks as well. So Jay Joel is at 35, 37. He had played six minutes in this game. Doesn't even count. 29, 28, and this is in 2017, guys. He was dropping 29 and 28 on them. You know, last two times he's seen them, and it was in 2021, and he dropped 35 and 37. So he hasn't seen Portland in quite some time. I don't see, I mean, how Nurkic is stopping him if we dig into this game to see who was playing. I believe Nurkic was probably playing. Let's take a look. He was not. So this is when fucking Ennis Cancer was their center. Uh, he played 32 minutes. So this was pre Nurkic. Um, for what that for what that matters to you guys, if anything, um, I don't think Nurk is going to be stopping much of anything. But there's that. And then let's also just look at James Harden quick while we have him up. So James Harden uh, dropped 25, 44, 23, 
and then he's had assist counts of 17, 17, and 9. So um, I have some interest in Harden as well as when we get there, the first half for Harden has been exceptional. So over here, we got a couple plays that are still on the fringe, unsure plays, and those would be, you know, Joel's PRA or P plus R. Uh, we could look at Harden's. Um, we could look technically... This is first half stuff. Um, we could look at his assists by themselves. We could look at the points by themselves if they're under 22.5. Um, points plus rebounds I saw. He's been averaging about, we'll give him five to six. Let's see what the books have him projected for today. We didn't even check this on Joel either. Points for Joel juiced over like I thought they would be. PRA also juiced over. So the PRA is probably a fine look, you guys. And then for James, PRA has mega, mega juice. Uh, rebounds, mega juiced. I'm totally okay with the points plus rebounds or the PRA or the uh, assist plus rebounds even maybe. So... There's lots of options over here, guys. This is viable, incredibly viable. I would probably do something like this personally, I think. I would do one like this for just... Uh, I, I'd do one for five. And I would do it the other way, too, with the points. Actually, let's just look at Vooch's points plus assist real quick and see if that might be better. Sorry about that, guys. My kid just does not know when to stop blowing my phone up. Loves to pick while I'm recording to do this stuff. Jesus Christ. All right, so points plus assist does look better than the points by themselves. As he the one game where he did miss by four points, he only missed by oops, he only missed it by a bucket essentially in this one. So it turned it in from two baskets to one, having those assists as part of it. So I have the rebounds, and now I'm going to take the points plus assist, I think. And then we are going to take it along with the James Harden points plus assist and Joel PRA. All right, so that is what we've got going on over on Thrive today, guys. Again, first looks have not been dug into too deep. Don't lock anything without doing your own research or waiting for more to pop up throughout the day, come into the Discord, see what's going on with my updates, and check it out. So let's head over to prize picks now. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go straight back to James Harden in his first half game logs. Let's take a look, guys. 25, okay, oops, first half game logs. In 19, 19, 18, 18, and 19 minutes over his last five games, dating us all the way back into January of 2020, Okay, he has had a total of, well, let's do points first. 15, 17, 11, 11, 8. Let's look at what his first half points are set at. Hopefully 10.5. They are set at 10.5. So he has hit this 10.5 points in... One, two, three, four out of five. Five out of the last six. All right. But the last four, he's hit it. As far as PRA, 18.5, we need 19. Well, he's got 19 in points and rebounds alone. Forget the assist. He's got 17 in points by themselves here. So clearly he hits it with 10 assists. Uh, 11 points and 7 assists is 18. Throw in three boards, and that's 21. Gets you over. But here, the same game. Oh, it's not the same game, actually. Here, with 11 points, though. 3 and 3, giving us only 17. But notice here, he had a steal and a block. 
as well as two turnovers, which would have gave him four additional points for fantasy. So maybe fantasy points is also a possibility as he's had a steal in this game. But look at this. This is first half only. This steal was negated by three turnovers. Here, he had no steals or blocks, but he had two turnovers, so he lost two points. Same thing here. No steal, no turnover. He lost a point for the turnover. Or no steal, no block. But, you know, so you're, it's a little bit of a risk for Harden because he does turn the ball over so much. So I'm personally going to stick to the first half PRA. And then we are going to go right back in to this game. And again, we're going to look at Joel's points specifically. And then I wanted to see one other play while I have it here. Ah, it's not what I want it to be. All right. So we're going to leave that for now. Um, the points I do think are safe. There's a two-point spread on this game. It should not blow out according to what is projected. If we do look at Joel, who is going to be playing today on the road. Let's look at his points. Away, Joel Embiid. And, all right, hitting the last two. Hitting seven in the last nine. One was by a bucket that he missed, and the other one was just a poor game. It happens to the best of us. Uh, let's look at the matchup for Joel. So we have got the center position versus Portland. And as far as points, they're offering up the third most in the league, guys, at 28.14 to the average center <laughs> Joel Embiid is far from the average center. Let's look on the season, how bad they... Well, nothing changes. Number three worst on the season. So, again, the rebounds is the only category they've been tough in. And we're talking Joel Embiid versus Nurkic here. So this is one of the matchups where Nurk is not going to have the size and muscle advantage. Um, he's going to get bullied badly by Embiid is my guess. So um, given the matchup on points, I'm going to stick to the points on prize picks, even though I was forced to go into, I believe I was forced into points plus PRA, or, uh, and it did not have just an option for points. Or, and if it did, we're going to go back and we're going to place one. Nope, I was right. We did not have an option for that. We only had points plus assist if we wanted to take that, which we're not. Okay, so we're, we're okay. So we're going to take Joel's points. And that will be that. We're going to head back to the Vooch play, and we're going to look at the Vooch P plus R at 30.5 versus Detroit, who gives up top second worst in points as well as second worst in rebounds to the center as we just saw detroit second and second if we categorize it by the points second if we categorize it by the rebounds second so and this is over the last seven over the season well they've been equally terrible in the rebound category and they've been just a tick better in the points they are now only the a uh, top 10 best matchup in points over the whole season but the whole season doesn't matter. We're looking at what's happened recently, uh, and they've been getting killed lately. So we've got some big, big center matchups here today. Look at this. we got top five matchups, Detroit, Portland, and Golden State. It's all on today's slate. So we've got the center for Boston. We've got the center for Philly, and we've got the center for Chicago. All in dream spots for points guys i know we're talking al horford hopefully robert williams will see more run because i trust that man a lot lot more um but yeah outside of that it doesn't even the sixers i mean yeah i guess not really so those are the best three matches we have for the centers so i'm personally gonna stay away even with the possibility of jalen brown being out today and usage increases to everybody i'm not gonna touch any centers from boston probably i mean we can look at al harford and just to see um he will be playing at home today 
Okay, we're gonna just look it up. I guess we're oh because because Jalen Brown is something's happening with him right now. Either they're making some decision on his status or they're just not giving lines due to his questionable status. So we can't look up Al anyways. So it's fine. Um, who else did I want to touch on? Let's look at who else I had brought up. Actually, let's do this. A little sneak peek for you guys. We'll dig into the prop stock cash stuff again. Let's go to kind of what they're hinting at in the line versus projection tool. Let's go to PRAs. And this has not been extremely accurate <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but here's what I'm seeing. So we've got a lot of Jordan Poole at the top of these lists. I'm sorry, guys. This is why, okay? This is at home. We got to go away for the Warriors. So Poole has been a beast. I mean, at home... And in wins, he's been 10 for 10. At home, he's been 10 for 10 on PRA. Um, away, he's been 7 for 10. But Golden State probably is going to lose this game, is my guess. So let's just take a look at losses. 7 for 10 also. So he's equally good no matter what. Um, he pops up an awful lot throughout the sheets, whether it be on points. Um Let's go by projection, and you see he's probably right up right at the top. Jordan Poole, if you look at assist, I'm sure he's somewhere near the top. Yep, Jordan Poole. And then if we look at the cheat sheets, well, Jordan Poole um, points, Jordan Poole PRA, Jordan Poole uh, points with rebounds, Jordan Poole points plus assist. Jordan Poole. So, I mean, there's some narrative here that Jordan Poole's got to be some kind of good play today, right? I mean, he's popping up in too many sims to not look into it a little deeper, at least. So let's jump into Poole and see. Let's jump into Poole. Yes, let's jump into the Poole and see what we have got going on for Jordan. Uh... So, really, uh, I'm in the wrong, no, I'm not. Where's the Jordan Poole stuff, guys? What? No Jordan Poole line. Well, that's sure interesting. Let's go to the backup source. Um, that is extremely weird, man. All right, let's do this. And see if we can find pool and some odds on him. I would love to see just his points first. See, Al Horford, minus 130 to the over, guys. Like I said, centers against Golden State. They got Big Al as a big over on 8.5. Let's see if he's up on the board here. He is. I mean, too bad we can't look much deeper. We'll look at Al Horford while we're on while we're on here. That's the last guy we're gonna look at. Otherwise, we're gonna send it through with what we've got. <laughs> um, so let's look at the game logs for Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole game log versus Boston. Twenty points. Twenty nine points. 12 points back in 2021, uh, 3 and 4, 2 and 3. So he's not been anything special. 27 PRA, 34 PRA, and those were his 222 games. The most recent was this year, back in December. He had 27 PRA, which would have hooked him short, I believe, uh, if that was his line on that day. 27.5? Oh, 25.5! extremely low and i think that's because curry's back but um <laughs> this might be something worth looking into guys he's all over the cheat sheet uh he's all over the projections for being over projected or under projected on his props so it's worth a look if you want to throw it in you can you don't you definitely don't need to but Given all of the things that we've got going for pool, I'm going to throw him into one lineup at least. So we're just going to go with this, guys. Um, yeah, so 
again, big night last night. Join the Patreon if you haven't, you guys. Like, I mean, let's just look at what happened last night. So Trey Young was really the weak spot I had. So here's starting last night. <laughs> refunded. That's gross. That's another hundred bucks refunded. Oh well. Trey Young was a killer. Trey Young was a killer last night. Trey Young, man. Basically was the reason we didn't sweep him, and I had like three Miles Turner shares. But yeah, last, no, last night was pretty nice. Hey, look at that. This was someone else's lineup given to me that I tailed. Didn't work quite as well. Um, I get all the plays, though. They all made sense. Definitely made sense, but didn't work out. Um, not all good plays do work out all the time. Like DeJounte Murray over five and a half assists was a fire play, and he definitely didn't get there. Um, Eric Gordon with no Kevin Porter yesterday, fire play. Tyler Hero and Jimmy Butler, both because of the blowout, wind up two PRA short. You know, Tyler had this in like mid second quarter, he was at like 20. You know, so unfortunate L's you take, you know, it would have been some extra money added. But it is what it is. Um, it was a great night last night. I mean, again, I would draw every time I have a win. Like, so this morning, first thing I did, jumped on, pulled 400 bucks off. Boom, done. Get that off and make sure prize picks never has a chance to see it back. If they're going to see anything back, they're only going to see what's on my credit. They're never going to dig back into those profits. So... If you're with Talon today, guys, again, I wish you the best of luck. And until the next one, make sure to check out all the links in the description section below. Get signed up over at Thrive Fantasy with my promo code, capital letters PG, and peace.